Electrical equipment at the mine site is powered through breakers or switch boxes. These may be located in motor control rooms or in trailers. All switches and breakers need to be properly identified or labeled. When throwing a breaker, stand to the side of the breaker and turn your head away. Follow the same procedure when you shut a breaker off. Only qualified electricians or qualified persons can perform work in areas where there are potential electrical hazards. Qualified persons must have received training in electrical equipment and installations and demonstrated the skills and knowledge necessary to work in these areas. He or she must also understand the hazards involved in working around electrical equipment. The safest way to perform maintenance and repairs with electrical equipment is to de-energize the equipment and verify that it is de-energized. Arc flash incidents are extremely dangerous. An arc flash is a short circuit through the air. When insulation or isolation between electrified conductors can no longer withstand the voltage applied to them, an arc flash occurs. Employees working on or around energized conductors or circuits can cause an arc flash. The temperature of an arc can reach more than 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit as it creates a brilliant flash of light and a loud noise. Electrical energy explodes outward from the equipment spreading hot gases, melting metal, causing severe burns and creating pressure waves that can damage hearing. The flash can damage eyesight. The pressure waves can also send loose material like pieces of equipment, tools, and other objects flying. These can injure anyone standing nearby. Only qualified electricians or qualified persons can perform work in areas where there are potential electrical hazards. Qualified persons must have received training in electrical equipment and installations and demonstrated the skills and knowledge necessary to work in these areas. He or she must also understand the hazards involved in working around electrical equipment. Regulations require a flash protection boundary to protect qualified workers. This is like an imaginary sphere surrounding the potential arc point. Proper protective equipment must be worn when any work is conducted within the established flash protection boundary. The safest way to perform maintenance and repairs with electrical equipment is to de-energize the equipment and verify that it is de-energized. Stay away from electrical panels if you are not qualified to work around them. If you are qualified, make sure you have the proper equipment and resources to perform the job safely.